alternate bringing your knees up to touch the ring con. Make sure your back is straight. Last time. All right. Would you believe this is one of the best designed role-playing games ever made? Fitness games are an interesting breed. There are very few game genres where a game must have a specific design intent. There have been platformers without jump-in, first-person shooters without weapons, and horror games without the fear of mortality, but every fitness game's gotta have the goal of helping the player get into or keep in shape. As a result, there's very little variation in how fitness games present themselves, almost universally being framed around virtual exercise classes with virtual personal trainers. Motion controls and VR add interesting wrinkles to this, but as much of a workout as one can get from Punch-Out Wii or Beat Saber, fitness isn't the primary motivation behind these games. For games that design for fitness, there tends to be a single, tried-and-true template. That's not necessarily a bad thing for what they're trying to accomplish, but it does make them a difficult sell for someone who isn't looking to sign up for virtual spin cycle jazzercise squat aerobics. And that prior simplicity and approach is what makes Ring Fit Adventure so fascinating. It's a fitness game first and foremost, but the way it achieves its fitness goals are astonishingly unique. It brazenly experiments with genres, mixing elements of party games, platformers, rail shooters, first-person shooters, strategy, and yes, role-playing games with surprising grace. It plays with and celebrates the spirit of exercise in an intensely tongue-in-cheek way through the monster designs, world, and a nearly unhealthy amount of exercise puns. It even throws in actual character growth and pathos. And somehow, all of these don't become overwhelming and awkwardly cobbled together, but come together for the singular goal of getting the player hyped about physical fitness and nothing better exemplifies Ring Fit Adventure's novel approach to being a fitness game than its villain. The buff brute with the gallant glutes, Drago. If you don't know the story of Ring Fit Adventure, here's a simple warm-up. This deadlifting dragon with diabolical deltoids is the game's main villain. He's kinda like if Bowser ditched his dad bod for bulging biceps and was also an insecure jock meathead. Drago goes around corrupting the world with living exercise equipment and trying to spread his unique brand of physical fitness mania. With the help of Drago's former personal trainer, a ring named Ring, the player must reach out of their comfort zone to stop the pulverizing power lifter with picturesque pecs. Much of the game is spent several steps behind Drago, him acting like some sort of strongman Sephiroth. But every so often, usually at the end of a given world, the player will bring the fight to one of his self-titled lairs. Like the rest of the game, these can be divided into two phases, an exploration segment and a combat segment. Most Drago stadiums start with one of these exploration segments, which consists of the player jogging in place while navigating obstacle courses, engaging in various physical challenges along the way. The main draw of a Drago stadium is the big fight, but exploration here acts as a warm-up stretch, where the player is tested on the skills and endurance built up while progressing through the world's story arc. The game actually really needs to make this check, as there's a good chance it's been at least several days since the player first tried the exercises that a given world teaches, especially considering the recommended 15-man-a-day sessions that the game pushes. If you're struggling, and the prospect of Drago literally flexing on you is too much to handle, no problem. It's not like this trapezius-laden titan has anywhere to be. Just bail for now, train up, and come back when you're ready for the main event. Drago's fights follow the same basic rules as normal encounters. Battles are turn-based and revolve around action commands for attacks and blocks. 
Attack strength is based around the complexity of the exercise chosen and the amount of reps performed, while block strength comes down to the player's ability to perform an effective Guard. The player must also keep careful stock of their hit points and any smoothies they've blended, as health, and the means to recover it, make for surprisingly scarce resources to manage. With this in mind, there isn't that much to the first fight with the punishing push-up practitioner. He establishes himself as a top-tier villain by weaponizing stairs, and then follows up with a pretty standard boss procedure. Hit like a truck, tank like also a truck. It's a simple battle of wills, but one that goes on for surprisingly long given the player's limited exercise kit, testing just how much the player wants to win. But after defeat, Drago regroups, knowing that the brain is a muscle too. He's not gonna pull the same trick twice, and is gonna throw new routines every time to buff up his chances of victory. And himself, naturally. Minions begin accompanying Drago to fights, including the annoyingly durable Scuttle Bells and the infuriatingly heel-happy Mata Rays. Dealing with multiple enemies is a surprisingly big deal in Ring Fit Adventure. Your multi-target attacks have a longer cooldown and deal less damage than your one-on-one -on -one exercises. And leaving too many enemies alive to gang up on you is a surefire way to drain your health even with proper ab guards. On top of that, most enemies have elemental affinities, with certain styles of exercise being more or less effective on them. And with the player only having six slots to equip attacks to, picking and choosing what muscles to stretch and avoid being overwhelmed becomes an exercise in and of itself. And then you still gotta deal with the mountain of monstrous machismo back there. Oh, but you think you have him on the ropes? Cute. But this abhorrent abdominal abominable knows how to take a breather for himself while also leaving you out of breath. Drago can fly into the background and chuck crates at the player, turning the fight into an impromptu shooting gallery. While the player is well-versed in these from minigames and exploration alike, the demand of an extended shooting segment when the player's muscles are already tired can seem like a daunting task. But catch your breath, burst through, and you'll be rewarded with a few hearts for your trouble giving you just the boost you need to power through to the end. And you'll need it when Drago stops playing around and unleashes his devastating breath attack upon you. In the face of this horrendously hunky halitosis, the player is prompted to buckle down and prep for a mega ab guard. Bring the ring con to your abs, take a deep breath, squat down, and... Together we come on! Come on! Come on! You can do this! You can do this! I feel incredible! I can win! Yes! 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 Baby! Endurance fight takes on a whole new meaning when you, the player, have to physically endure the boss's attacks. And this right here is the clearest example of Ring Fit Adventure's genius. Most RPG bosses can be overwhelmed by simple resource management, unleashing your best skills and spells at the right time on the right targets and hurtling them forward. Most fitness games communicate physical wellness through the language of video games, by gamifying fitness classes or other modes of exercise. Ring Fit Adventure defies both, creating bosses that are always challenging to fight through, and games tailored to fitness rather than the other way around. In Ring Fit, you don't have MP or spirit. You are your character's MP. You can only use an effective skill by performing the right exercise, and only as well as you can perform it. If you've stacked up on squats, even if doing another aerobic exercise would be super effective or deal the most damage, you might choose something else to cool down with if your body can't take it. Your literal effort is slowly whittling away at Drago and his minions, and the satisfaction 
action gotten from overcoming him isn't one directed at your skill or thinking, it's directed at you, physically overcoming the challenges ahead of you. Add in Ring Fit's utter love for video games, creating an eccentric JRPG based around rail shooting and platforming, fused together into one unique package, traditional battle sequences, and minigames galore tossed to break up a largely linear narrative, and you have an utterly captivating package. A game that doesn't settle for making play into work or fail to make exercise seem hip, but marries the two components into a product where one simply wouldn't work without the other. And no matter what you're doing, timing action commands repeatedly to mirror an exercise routine, playing minigames that don't really fit the mold of either exploration or combat, or just swapping between exploration and combat to naturally shift between aerobic and anaerobic exercise. You're growing stronger in and out of the game. Your sweat is so shiny and beautiful! So, if everything in Ring Fit Adventure clearly translates into different kinds of exercise, then what's Drago supposed to be? I mean, look at him! Big brawny bully like that? What's that supposed to mean? That there's people who are stronger and more fit than you? Well, I mean, yeah. That's why you're playing a fitness game. You don't need the game to tell you that. And I mean, what hope do you have about matching this muscle-bound monster? The game has so many worlds, there are so many fights against him, and he just gets away every single time. What's the point of even chasing him down? Surely, no one would blame you if you just let him go. The most important part of any exercise routine is not any physical aspect of it. It doesn't matter what you look like, what you want to look like, how long you've been exercising, how long it would take to achieve your goals, or anything else if you're not motivated. In Ring Fit Adventure, Drago throws everything he's got at you. Fists, monsters, threats, put-downs, crates, lasers, every living creature in the world. He wants you to give up. He wants you to tell yourself that you'll never be able to make it. He wants you to let him win. And in the face of that, Ring Fit Adventure gives you the perfect opportunity to shut him up. You're given as many tools as possible to succeed, no matter what your physical limitations are. You might not get there right away, might fall off a bit, might go a little too hard and not be ready to go in again right away. Be brave, stay your course, and always, always, always take that next step forward, as many times as it takes. Because if you keep at it, someday, you're going to be able to look Drago eye to eye. And you're going to clean his clock and send him packing through no one's power but your own. That is how you design for motivation. Let's begin our static stretching. You won't need the ring con. Be mindful of your body and stretch within the range of your ability. Join your hands together in front of you. Position your glutes as if you're going to sit down, then stretch your hands forward. Bring yourself back slowly. Put your hands on your lower back as if supporting it. Gently tilt your upper body backward, but don't lean back more than is comfortable. Bend your knees slightly to keep them loose. Bring yourself back slowly. Spread your feet, raise both hands, and hold your left wrist. While pulling on your wrist, tilt to the right and stretch your side.
return to your original position, switch hands, and bend the other way. Don't hold your breath. Bring yourself back slowly. Stretch your left arm to the side and hold it with your right arm. Pull in your arm and stretch the muscles of your left shoulder. Now do the same on the opposite side. Slowly stretch out, but be careful not to bounce. Bring yourself back slowly. Put your right leg forward and put your hands on your hips. Bend your right knee and stretch out your left calf. Now switch legs. If you're less flexible, it's okay if your heel goes off the ground. Bring yourself back slowly. And your stretching is complete. Good job.